Hey, good morning, everyone. This is Carol J. Dunlop, your online WOW strategist and Amazon number one international best-selling author for my book, Unmarked Your Business. If you haven't gotten the book yet, you need to go do it right now because you may be missing out. No, I know you're missing out on some stuff. You can get the book by going to my website, csicorporation.com forward slash book. See the testimonials, read all about it, get a sneak peek at what's in it, and go ahead and get your book so you can start standing out instead of just wishing that you are out in front of everything. So I hope you're having a great week so far. For me, it's been very, very challenging. I had two deaths in uh, my extended family, good friends of uh, my husband, their moms passed away right before Mother's Day. So it's been really hard on us. Plus, neither my husband nor myself have our mothers in our lives right now. And that's kind of disheartening at times. You know, at times you you miss them a lot. At times you don't think about it a lot, but it's it's like always there with you. So I want to say to everyone who has your mom with you or, or your dad, your parents, cherish them, love them, find out all you can about them because they're not going to be with you always. So let's get on to some happier stuff. We're talking about standing out and how your website helps you to stand out and crush it. I got some great information for you today. So we're not going to be on here that long. I don't like to take long on my Thursday trainings, but I'm happy to have you here. Whether you're watching it live right now or you're watching on demand, welcome, welcome, welcome. So I would like for you to kind of entertain me for just a little bit as I talk talk about your website and why it's really important. Now, you know you need a website. Actually, today, today's uh, marketing times, <laughs> crazy times, great times, you can't do without having a website because it's just as important as having a business card. And some people don't even use business cards anymore or having, or well, used to have stationery all the time. Now it's just like social media accounts and all that. But you got to have a website. Why? Because that's your online hub. That's where everyone goes out to find out more about you, whether they see you first on social media somewhere or they meet you in person or they read about you or they read an article you wrote. They go to your website to find out more about you and you have to have it and you have to have one. But more importantly than just having a website, you, yes, you, even if you're still in a job or a career professional, you still need a, what I like to call a brand Y-O-U, wow website. And I'm going to explain more about that in a little bit. But first, let's talk about why you need a personal brand. You may be saying, well, you know, Carol, I may not need a uh, a website because, you know, I work for somebody or I am an employee, but you do need to establish yourself as a personal brand. You, you need to stand out. Why? Because you're the face of your company. You're the face, whether you're, whether you own the company or you're inside the company or you want to start a company, you are the face of it. So you should have a website that showcases Y-O-U, brand Y-O-U. And it has to be an online wild wow website. And I've explained before, but let me tell you what an online wild wow website is. It answers the questions of the people who, whom you serve, and it showcases their problem and how you solve it. And it showcases your products and services. It answers questions. So when they come to the website, they know that without a doubt, they're in the right place, they have the right person, and they're going to get their problems solved right away by you. So your personal brand is something that you put out there to say, hey, I want you to learn more about me. In my instance, Carol J. Dunlop, I want you to learn more about me and who I am and who I serve and what I do and all that great stuff. And it's not about you being boastful or, hey, look at me, look at me. It's more about how you can become a real life person in front of your audience. Because I always say that people buy from people. They don't buy from logos or mission statements. They buy from actual people. And so you need a you need to establish a personal brand, one that kind of gets in shows people how they can get inside your head so you can become the go to person for your tribe, the people who follow you, the people who like you, the people who know you and want to know you. You need to be that go to person. A personal brand helps you become the authority in your niche. Whatever your niche is, 
whoever you serve and the, that subset of the people who you serve, who is your core audience, you need to become the go-to, the authority in that niche. A personal brand also helps you become the expert your audience looks to follow and usually says, hey, so-and-so said, and you need to be that so-and-so that they're talking about that said this. So that's what a personal brand does for how creating a personal brand does for you. And it also helps you to become the person that other people listen to and they talk about in a great way, right? So your headquarters, guess where your headquarters are for brand you? It is definitely your website. Remember, I talked about what your online wow website is. Now we're niching it down a little bit further to become the personal brand, the brand Y-O-U. So your personal brand Y-O-U website, online wow website, talks about who you serve, the problem you solve for them, how you solve it with your products and services. Plus, it showcases your other side if you're community focused or what dreams you have, what you think about, what you, what wakes you up in the middle of the night, because people want to get to know you. And once, guess what happens? Once people get to know you, they start liking you, they find out that they really can't trust you, then they start buying from you because you solve their problems. And they feel like you're more of a, a friend or an advocate or a person that they can trust, they will buy from you. So I've got three ways that you can show people with your website how you can crush it with your personal brand Y-O-U online WOW website. So you can tell people about why you do what you do. People always want to know that anyway. They want to know how you came about, how you came up with this idea, this product, this service, this thing that you do, how, why, you know, what wires you or what what got you going? Was it a tragedy that happened? Was it something that you went through? Was it a great thing that happened? Was it a mentor that inspired you? Was it something that you were doing all along and you said, hey, I can, I can actually uh, package this and sell it because other people need to know it. So that's what your uh, online, web, online WOW, brand Y-O-U website does for you. And then it also showcases why and how you can help them. So it specifies your services, your products, and it also breaks down why they need this. So let's say, for instance, you know who you're talking to. You've got your audience out there and they need something specific, very, very specific. Maybe your audience is busy moms who are looking for um, recipes for their family that they can cook very quickly. They don't want a lot of ingredients. It can't take a lot of time. It has to be easy. It has to be something that they can do once they get home at seven o'clock at night and they're trying to put food together, but they want to serve healthy, tasty food to their family. So you're a personal chef and you say, hey, I know why I, I know about this. I know why this happens. I can help you. I'm a, I'm a mom myself. I've got two small kids and I knew that having a business and trying to find healthy, quick recipes was a problem. So I came up with these recipes that can help you. And these are the recipes that you showcase on your website. These are the recipes that I've come up with and this is how you can use them. And boom, you've just solved their problem. You've made yourself human to them. You've shown them that they can trust you because you're a mom just like they are. You show them that there's a problem out there and you understand what it is, and that's getting healthy, quick to fix recipes for their family. And you've shown that you can do it and you're sharing it with them. So the thing is that but you're making them pay for this expertise because <laughs> this is what you do. You're a you're a personal chef and you came up with this information, these ideas, these recipes, and you're sharing it with them, but you're sharing it sharing it in a way that feels authentic to you and to them. They're paying for a product or a service and you're making money off of it, which there's nothing wrong with that. And you both win because they can't do it for themselves. They're not personal chefs. They don't know how to put the recipes together. They're searching for the recipes. So why wouldn't you be able to, I want to say profit off of that because, you know, in our lives, especially women, we look at it like, oh, I can't charge for that or who would pay me for that? Lots of people will pay you for the things that you know, the things that you do. You just have to get in front of the right people. And we all struggle with doing that. We all struggle with 
who are our people? Who is our audience? How do we get in front of them? And one of the ways you can do that is through doing something like what I'm doing right now, a Facebook Live. That way they get to see you. They get to interact with you if they're going to put in um, the comments and the likes and they're going to share and they get they introduce you to their audience. So it's really simple. It's pretty easy. And it's something that you can do that's not going to cost you a lot of money. The other thing that you have on your website is what makes you tick? Why do you do what you do? Now, if you're a personal chef, why did you become a personal chef? Did did someone in your family say, hey, you got some great recipes. You need to put them out there because we enjoy them so much. You should share it with the world. Or did a mentor tell you this? Or was there some tragedy that brought about tragedy or a good good something good or something bad that brought about your need to get these recipes out there or was it just that you're one of the people that you're serving and you just found a way to get the service out there i mean it could be any number of reasons why but the reason why that you do it is very important to your audience brand y-o-u now that may be a new concept for you You maybe saying oh man i don't want to be out there telling everybody that you know, I'm this great person. Well, why not? If you don't toot your own horn, who else is going to toot it? Who else is going to tell people about you? Because you have to start somewhere. If you're just out there in the middle of nowhere and you're the greatest thing since sliced bread and nobody knows about you, hmm, that's not helping you. So you need to get out there and you need to tell people how awesome you are. And you don't say like, I am awesome. I mean, you could, I do sometimes, but you show them how awesome you are with the products and services that you have. You lead them to your brand, you website and answer their questions right away. And then you, of course, you follow up with that. You know, you send them emails, you do things like Facebook lives or YouTube lives or Instagram stories, your posts, everything that can get them involved more with what you're doing, that's what you do. Getting them to know, like, and trust you so that they will eventually buy from you. So that's really it. You showcase your website, and on your website, you tell them why you do what you do. And you can do that on your about page. And you can do some of it on your home page, but the most of it, your real story is going to be on your about page. Why and how you help and why you've come up with these products and services, and you need to, within the products and services, explain how this is going to help them reach their goal, how this is going to help them solve their problem, and then what makes you tick. And you know the best way to do that on your website is to blog. Your blog is going to help people get inside your head and see you know, what does make you tick, why you're doing what you're doing, what kind of person you are. You can share personal antidotes, personal stories. You can share things that relate to business. You can share your ideals, your ideas, your um, thoughts. You can even do rants on your blog, but it lets people get to know who you really are. And once they get to know who you really are, they either like you or don't like you. The people that like you start to trust you, will start to buy from you. The people that don't like you or don't agree with you, They won't subscribe. They'll stop following you. That's fine. You don't want them. You want the people who are who really resonate with what you're saying. That's why I'm talking about your brand you online wild website. Now, if this sounds kind of like hmm, interesting to you, you need to talk about it a little bit more or see how you can do it. I want to. Why is it not? There we go. The wrong thing was coming up there. I want to invite you to schedule an online wow assessment with me. And you can do that by going to bit.ly forward slash online wow. And what we're going to do is actually have a chat. We're going to see, you know, what you're doing right now, how your website looks, and how you can make it more of a online wow website and specifically a brand you online wow website because you we want people to get to know you for who you are know like and trust you and then start buying from you the more they can find out about you that you want to share and how you really solve their problem the more they're going to buy from you they don't really care about particular things like you know what you have for lunch and all like that but we're talking about how it relates to them remember that radio station w-i-i-f-m what's in it for me and me is the person that i'm talking to As long as you keep that in mind, I mean, even if you are sharing what you have for lunch, what does that have to do with me? How is that going to help me? You know, you may say, well, I have the thing that I'm having for lunch today is a quick is one of the quick recipes that I help you to prepare for 
your family, then that's what's in it for me, that type of stuff. They just don't, you know, everything has to have a reason why you're doing it. And that reason has to go toward your audience. So again, schedule your online wow assessment with me, bit.ly forward slash online wow. And we'll get down to the nitty gritty and see what you're doing, what you're not doing and where you're missing out on clients and what you can do about to stop that right now. So that's been your training for Thursday. Join me again next Thursday at 11 o'clock, 11 o'clock Eastern. I look forward to seeing you. Have a good one. Bye-bye for now.